All right, let's play. So it's calibrating. Okay, green light. Oh no, I lost already. Oh, oh. That wasn't, that was not counted. Let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh you can't fool me. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Oh no! Green light. Whoa, ho, ho. Oh no, time's running out. Yes! I got it! I won! G'day everyone, my name's Mr. Code and welcome to this special episode of Python for LEGO Robotics featuring Blast from the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor. Like so many of my friends, I have been watching Squid Game recently, which is why I thought it would be fun to create my very own version of Red Light Green Light from the TV show. In Squid Game, players are forced to play this a twisted game of red light green light against a robot uh, that says green light and then you're allowed to move but when it says red light you have to stay still otherwise something bad will happen now i know you're thinking mr code how are you going to recreate red light green light when lego robotics doesn't even have a camera to which i would say don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and i'm going to adjust the game parameters just a little bit so that it fits what we have on this robot. We are going to use the distance sensor instead of a camera to detect movement of the player. All you need for this project is the LEGO Mindstorms robot inventor, a computer and a little bit of typing. When the robot shows a green light you can wave your hand in front of it as many times as you can. Each time it detects a wave it scores you a point. However, if it shows a red light you have to stay absolutely still. If it detects any movement on a red light, it will shoot you twice and you will not be appearing in any sequels. In addition, you need to score at least 20 points in one minute's time. If you don't, then you will also get shot. So here, let's load up Lego Mindstorms. And you click on Blast in the middle here. Then you build Blast by following step one all the way to step four. And then you also need to download further activities. So if you haven't downloaded these activities, there'll be a download button on the side here where my cursor is. And then you'll need to build the gun from target practice. Once you've finished building, then head back to the home page and we will start our project. Go press on to projects, click on this plus sign, and then choose Python. We're going to create a project and call it red light, green light. So here, uh, after we have opened a project, we click on the, uh, um, the uh, three dots here and rename our project. And we'll call it red light, green light and then hit save. In order to run this game, we're going to import an extra class. We're going to import random. Now what does random do? Random has a whole bunch of different functions that allow us to uh, adjust uh, some of the timings and numbers so that uh, the game is going to be slightly unpredictable uh, every time you play it. So that the, uh, um, the intervals between when it is a red light or a green light will change slightly so that you don't um, uh, you don't anticipate exactly when the robot's going to change color. And then where it says create your objects here under, under the, uh, the hub, we're going to create some new motors. So torso motor, torso underscore motor is going to be our motor at D. Now when I 
When I um, name D with quotation marks, you can use single quotation marks or double quotation marks. It doesn't matter uh, as long as you use the same quotation marks and the start and the back of your quotes. Gun motor equals motor B. So the gun motor is what actually triggers the firing mechanism on our robot, whereas the torso motor um, moves the head and the arms around. Score starts as zero, and then uh, win score will be 20. So this is the score that we need to reach in our time limit. And once we reach this score, then uh, we win the game. Distance sensor equals distance sensor at F. Make sure that once you've built the robot that all these ports are correct. So you make sure that your torso motor is actually attached to port D, your gun motor is actually attached to, mot uh, to port B, and your distance sensor is attached to port F. If it isn't, then make sure you adjust your build uh, to, make, uh, to make it this way. Okay. And then we're going to create two timers. We're going to create a color timer. Equals timer and the lose timer. What are the differences between these two timers? So color timer is going to be our timer to tell us when to switch colors between red and green. Uh, so this is a timer that will keep repeating itself. Whereas the lose timer is the overall time of the game. Once we hit zero on the lose timer, then you lose the game if you haven't scored 20 points yet. Time limit will equal uh, 60. So this is the number of seconds we have to score in our game. Next color change. This is the interval between the first color change. So uh, even though we have a random in here, we're going to start with 10 seconds. Uh, just so that the very first interval is not going to be uh, too quick. Uh, so that we can uh, get a few players to see if they can get tripped up right at the start. All right, next we set is green equal to true. Whoops. And then uh, waving is equal to false. And game over is also equal to false. So we start off with the green light uh, so that players can start waving as soon as the game starts. Uh, and then the waving flag is so that we uh, detect if the player waves their hand in front of the sensor but also moves away afterwards. So we don't want them to just hold their hand in front of the sensor and score lots of points really quickly because that's no fun. And then afterwards we have this game over boolean. So what this does is uh, this is where, where we create a while loop to uh, continue looping through the game until game over is set to true. So game over can only be set to true in two ways, whether you win the game, it gets set to, set to game over is equal to true, or you lose the game and then game over was set to true. Okay, next we're going to write our functions. Here we're going to define the blast calibrate code where we go for the torso motor, run for seconds, three at 50, torso motor run for rotations, 2.3 at minus 50. This makes it so that when we run the calibrate, uh, the robot is going to be um, moved into its neutral position. Raise sensor, so this is our second function that we're defining. Raise sensor is going to move the torso to uh, torso motor to one side to raise its sensor out so that it's ready for us to wave our hands in front of it. Torso motor dot run for rotations. One point five at a speed of fifty. 
The third function is what happens when we lose the game. So when we lose, uh, the torso is going to readjust to raise the gun to uh, point at us. So torso motor dot run for rotations 2.3 at minus 50. Then we're going to get the gun motor to fire both its projectiles. Run for seconds. 0 0.4 at 75 and then the gun motor dot run 4 degrees um, minus 130 at 75 and then return to normal Sixty and 75. Where am I getting all these values from? So all these values are translated from the word blocks in the blast um, uh, target practice uh, mission. So these codes basically make it so that the gun fly, fires uh, both of its missiles. Finally we have a color change code. So define the color change And uh, we're going to refer to our global variable, next color change, and also label is green. What this does is it makes it so that we, um, we are always referring to the object that we created at the start and not creating a local variable. Uh, sometimes this is just a good habit to have. If is green, is equal to true, then we're going to set the hub status light to red. However, oh, well, also we need to uh, switch the flag over. So is green will then turn to false. Else, hub.status light will turn on to green and is green will equal to true so all our functions are ready now it's ready to be coded so here where it says write your program here we're going to remove this beep and then we're going to start by calibrating blast and then we're going to raise its sensor and we're also going to set the status light to green and now the game loop so while game over is equal to false we run through these checks distance is equal to the distance sensor dot get distance in centimeters and if distance is equal to none we'll set distance to zero this is basically going to correct a none type error uh, from a sensor uh, sometimes if it doesn't detect any any distance it returns none and we don't want to plug that into a conditional uh, otherwise it will uh, turn into an error. First thing we're going to check is if it's time to change our color. So if color timer dot now is more than or equal to next color change, then what we're doing is we're performing the color change function. But then we have to reset the color timer color timer dot reset and also we're going to set the next interval remember we have a randomizer so now we can go next color change is equal to random dot random integer 3 comma 10 so rand int stands for random integer and this is basically going to return a number between 3 and 10 it's a random number and in fact in effect it means that uh, the color changes can occur uh, between 3 and 10 seconds. It, could, it is unpredictable.
out dent and we're going to check if we are waving. So if distance is uh, less than or equal to 20 centimeters and the distance is more than or equal to one centimeter and waving is equal to false. If all these three things are met, then we are detecting a wave. But are we waving on a red light or a green light? So we're going to check. If is green is equal to true, then our score will get incremented plus equal one. We're going to make a pleasant little beeping sound. So it's hub.speaker.beep 84 or 0.2 seconds. We're also going to say, uh, set the waving flag is equal to true. Okay, This is so that uh, the player has to move the hand away before they uh, move it back in. After you have scored successfully, we're going to check if you have won the game. So if the score is more than or equal to win score, then we set game over to equal true. We say hub dot light matrix dot right you win. And then finally we return the robot back to its neutral position. All right, but however if it's not green Make sure that we are in the indentation level just under the if is green block, right? So else we are going to lose because we waved and it is not green. So hub.speaker dot beep at 70 for one second. It's slightly longer so that the player can contemplate their bad choices. And then we go lose. Game over is equal to true. And then the hub light matrix will write lose. Out dent again, and then we say elif distance is equal to zero, then waving is equal to false, else. Waving is it also equal to false. And then the final thing we have to check in this game loop is if the game has ended without us scoring any uh, enough points. So if lose timer dot now is more than or equal to the time limit, then hub dot speaker dot beep make the same losing beep uh, and then we run the lose function game over is equal to true and then the hub will light up to say time is up okay and that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can download the code from the GitHub link in the description of the video so that you can make your very own red light, green light robot to challenge your friends. Don't forget to wear safety glasses when you're playing with this project. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.